जय श्री कृष्ण भीमा तीर निवासाय पंडरीपुर वासिनी पांडुरंग प्रकाशाय विठलाय नमो नम वॉट इज डिप्रेशन फर्दर डिप्रेशन इज सेल्फ इंडल्जेंस ऑफ अ सटल सॉट एवरी पेशेंट ऑफ डिप्रेशन इज वन सफरिंग फ्रॉम सेल्फ इंडल्जेंस वन इज ऑलवेज थिंकिंग ऑफ हिम सेल्फ द मोमेंट अ पर्सन डिप्रेशन कम्स द मोस्ट वायलेंट वोकेबलरी गेट्स होल्ड ऑफ मी आई से योर स्टोपेड योर प्राउड you are hot headed you are pig headed i have never used these words to anybody except a person who has depression because that's the only way to blast his ego i said are you so important that the world has to go around you when hundred millions are dying of hunger asked dr nagratna she will tell you how concern for others can make you different how charity towards others can make you different are you so important that everybody should come to you any person of depression wants self importance that is all wants the whole world to care for him or her so i said depression is self indulgence of a subtle sort it is inspired by self importance and sustained by a lopsided view of the situation if a man or woman discontinued to be over worried about himself or herself and cared for another there would be no depression at all in the world me mine my sorrow my sorrow my sorrow i only ask the lord let me not think of myself at all let me think of others so that i may not have any time to think about myself must i may not have time to think about myself let me efface myself let me become one with the puppet artim prapadde akhila dheva bhajam antastito yena bhavantya dukha ranti deva in the bhagavata mahapurana is asking the lord i don't even want moksha what do you want ranti deva i want to enter the heart of everyone and wipe the sorrow there Why the sorrow? Antastito ye na bhavan kya dukha? If I look at you from outside, it is sympathy. If I look at you from inside, it is empathy. Antastito be ye na bhavan kya dukha? That is what a mahatma does. He feels with you, and he feels for you also. That is where you find depression will not take hold of you if you care for another. What is the first chapter called? Arjuna Vishada Yoga. all other yogas are different but the first chapter is vishada yoga all of us have vishada but we don't have vishada yoga all of us have vishada 90% of us those who come for the lecture on depression and duty must have either ex- experienced depression or or they are watching people being depressed otherwise you and i would not be here apna dukh ya apno ka dukh something brings us to the katha something brings us to the lecture because you want to know what could be the difference between depression and duty how could this progress take place somewhere in your mind you are affected by depression directly or indirectly vishada is naturally the meaning for depression what is arjuna's con- condition he is yoked with the lord yoga is not merely standing on your head or controlling your breath not losing weight or slimming down it is yoking yourself with the lord it is joining yourself with the lord 99% of us fail to realize that when we are detached from the lord we are unhappy when we are attached to the lord we are happy my simple definition of depression is god obliteration when i forget krishna i am depressed the glory of arjuna lies in the fact that even in vishada he is yoked with the lord don't you remember the mahabharata scene when arjuna goes to choose krishna the vishada yoga took place because the lord was chosen by arjuna it's a constant choice a consistent choice a continuous choice a convinced choice an instinctive choice an intuitive choice that is why we appreciate arjuna it is krishna arjuna sambhadi here we understand that krishna is speaking to arjuna because arjuna chose him arjuna went to choose the lord and duryodhana came to choose the battalions when arjuna is asked to choose duryodhana's heart misses a beat wondering oh god he will choose the battalions and what will i do why don't want a non fighting krishna arjuna does not hesitate at all why does he not hesitate because of his blood group he is kunti's son kunti's son naturally chooses krishna whenever the lord finds arjuna's faith is dwindling or diminishing or halting The Lord calls him Kaunteya. Remember your mother's love for me. She has great love for me, absolute love for me, and that love has been given to you. She has fed you with the milk of human kindness and human devotion for the Lord. Remember that. 
I want you to realize, Arjuna, that you belong to me. And as my disciple, I have come to save you. Entire Bhagavad Gita is about the compact between the divine and the human. The Lord has come close to Arjuna to make him remain close to him. And that is why he is speaking, no, singing his way into Arjuna's heart and life. Sri Krishna is telling him, here Arjuna, you are with me, but you have chosen me. And he who has chosen Krishna will be supported by Krishna. At the end of the episode when Arjuna has chosen Krishna, Krishna asks Arjuna, Similarly, the Jivatma is telling the Paramatma, I chose you Krishna because I wanted you to get a name from me. I wanted the world to call you Partha Sarathi. What a lovely way of putting it. The world is called by the Lord's name. Krishna is called by Arjuna's name. Are you not jealous of Arjuna? I am extremely jealous of him. Extremely jealous of him. This is the language of love between the Jivatma and the Paramatma. My dear listeners, what happens when Shri Krishna is chosen?